Hi, Linda Bowen here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. Today is Tuesday, so fun fold, and today's fun fold is um, copying the last two weeks fun fold, just the third in a series of how you can use um, the double gate fold in the designer series paper. Well, today I am featuring uh, the nest of winter designer series paper. I have already cut out my little bird and I am using the stylish shapes dies. We've had these for quite a while and it works perfect um, for this uh, double gate fold. I have a piece of Whisper White and Basic Black, and the Basic Black is going to be a layer, so I have taken my Stylish Shape die and cut out of the middle, have a standard four and a quarter by five and a half backing, and then I've got my beautiful uh, Designer Series paper. So we're going to go ahead and get started. All the measurements, of course, will be over on my blog, stampingwithlinda.com. This piece measures um, five and a quarter by 12. Same basic layout as before um, on the last two cards, but this time I'm using that stylish shapes um, for the center, and I think that just adds something because of the square die cut. So we're scoring at 2, 4, 8, and 10. And then we are going to turn over the corners like the last two weeks. Just basically the same card, but as you can we'll see that Using a different die cut in the center and the different de designer series paper, you're going to get a totally um, different look. And there's that dirty old poem folder again. Need a reminder, Jenny, to clean my bone folder. Um, I think about it when I go to use it online and I think, ugh. Got to clean that, take the time to do it, but yeah, time passes by. Anyways, so we've got this. We're just going to score the corners over. In fact, we're going to score, I almost did it the wrong way. We want the birds on the inside, so we're going to score down with the stripes. side and then we'll bring in that multi-purpose glue and glue those corners down It's such a dry throat this morning. I think it's because I ate too many Fritos. Do you um, have a favorite chip? Fritos is definitely mine. I tend to not want to buy them, but a friend left a bag in my car, so fair game. I can't leave them alone. They call my name until they're all gone, and that may be in one day. It's just sad, sad how... Um, I just can't leave them alone. Bag of chocolate chip cookies doesn't bother me, but a bag of Fritos, yeah, that is my weakness. Okay, so we've got our basic card. I'm going to bring in that four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm going to add some adhesive. I don't have this scored straight. Let's see if I can correct it. Without putting the adhesive that I just put in down on the... There we go. I think that's... I don't know how I scored that crooked, but I managed to. 
There we go. Much better. Not perfect, but it is homemade. And we have to get over being perfect. I know that's hard sometimes for some people, but not for me. Um, it's like, it's all well. So we're going to add that black. I cut that center out, but remember we are layering over top, so no one will ever know that that square is cut out. Got my basic white. And ready to assemble my front. I'm going to go ahead and take that black. I'm going to add some glue just to the one corner. Lay it on the diagonal. See how nice the stylish shapes works for um, this Fold. Got that. Going to grab my white piece, my Memento ink. Going to use Hello Friend. I believe this is from the Lily Pond uh, stamp set. And we're going to just stamp that in black. Going to bring in my little bird. Again, just fussy cut that right out of the beautiful designer series paper. Little bird right about there. And then add this to the square on the front of my card. And I think I'm going to add a couple more dimensionals on the other. Two sides. And again, very nice with that stylish shape style to make the trifold card. Hope you've enjoyed today's video, and we'll talk to you real soon. Bye bye.